Welcome, welcome, Scallywags. Back to another adventure in Ancient Domains of Mystery. I'm Frenchie. And I'm Freedom. Uh, we've got here, so far, uh, let me just say it's taken me a while to like build up the courage to try again, so it's been a few days. Um, but we're going to keep trying here. Um, I did want to bring you back in a little early to show you... Uh, this quest that we're doing. We are now in the village dungeon instead of the Drew dungeon. Um, I am an archer, a human archer, who doesn't start with healing. So, we have to meet uh, this guy. His name is Jared, the healer. Uh, he says, uh, Well met, brother. Would you like to learn, or do you want to be healed? And Press Z to award. I'm... Fully, I'm full life, so let's, this has to be uh, to learn healing. Before I will teach ye, you need to prove that you are to... That ye the, aren't the, able yeah, to yeah. exert mercy. Ye aren't able to exert mercy. So, oh man, I have to I have to show him that I'm capable of ex exerting mercy. So, uh... I can do that in this dungeon. And, um, so... Uh, can you check uh, your quests? Uh, yeah, sure. Do you know how to do that? Yep, the village elder of Terranio, Rent, uh, asked you to find and relieve the village carpenter in this dungeon. Relieve is slang for kill. He's gone mad. And so this takes uh, place in the exact same place as the druid dungeon. If you talk to Rent first, you get this quest. If you talk to Guthalak first, you get the, the, the kill Keithrax quest. They are mutually exclusive. Yes, you cannot get both ever. Ever, ever, ever. Um, so either you get healing, or you get herbology, gardening, or spot books and wands of ice. Yes. We need to get a new table, my man. It's wobbly. I uh, know. I wonder if that's getting picked up. Um, we I, have a little dinner table. I also table. picked up uh, the ability to pick pockets. Um, because I am neutral right now. Neutral minus. Um, so just going to use that to uh, hopefully get get a little bit of an advantage here. Um, so Jared always spawns on Village Dungeon 4. The Carpenter, your rigs that we're looking for, always spawns on level 7, I believe. Like 7, yeah. Um, so we're just going to do curve 1. And right it's now, going to be hard to shoot. We got curve. lucky that these uh, stairs are right next to each other. Uh, and that'll become apparent in uh, a short while. Uh, I don't think zombies. Can you pick zombies? Yes, you can, but I didn't. So, how does pickpocketing work in this uh, game? Um, pickpocketing, you stand next to somebody and with pockets, and then you apply the. Ooh, that's not good. Well, you can go back down, right? Uh, and right, I would, I would. Let's back away. Yeah. I'm slow. How slow are you? I'm slower than these guys. If we look, uh, they have a speed of 109 oh to 120. Oh my god, they So, um, we have a curved wand. Let's try it out. That's a stun uh, ray. Stun ray, yeah. I can keep trying here. It tends to miss a lot. Yeah. Back up, back up, cause it's on. Okay, they can't close. They don't have. They don't have hands. Yes. <sighs> okay. Um. Now, yeah. Apply first aid each All right, time. I got eight. And how much am I losing? I'm losing about two. Every turn. I don't want to have to pray. Ooh, I lost three that turn. If I don't, if I don't first aid myself, I'm gonna have to pray. Because I'm, I'm not sure I could have made it to. Uh, I I don't think you would have. Yeah. There's another three. So this is this is him asking to be healed. So he heal. He, I could he could only heal me six more times. So he could only he only heal me seven times in total. Which is actually really good because a full heal though. Yeah. <laughs> um. At least a full heal for. When you're this low, I, I I couldn't tell you. I've never seen it not be a full heal. Right, but if we come back when we have like, I would just go down, and then deal with this a little bit later. Okay, we can. 
Um, I've got a shield that I haven't identified yet, so hopefully it's not cursed. Oh, that's that's I, fairly good as far as wooden shields wooden go. Shields, yeah, I don't know if I would have equipped that. And it's Shh. gone. Fireball, and it's gone. Oh, heard a thundering explosion, so somebody, somebody triggered what? a trap. Oh, somewhere. Okay. Boom. Now, how'd you come up with the name Julio? Uh, Julio is a common name in Spanish-speaking countries. So this is Julio. Okay. <laughs> Easy enough. I you know what would be awesome? I don't awesome? want to have to open doors if I don't have to. I know, but yeah. if I have to, then I will. Uh, check for a passage here. Oh, nothing there. Um, F off, zombie. So, as an archer, you actually have some really good defenses. Um, oh, you're at level 6. Yep. Uh, so now my missile attacks are cost less time to do. Basically. Uh, the, the basic unit of attack, or the basic 1,000 points of energy is the base. And so he take he gets... Uh, I'm, I shoot faster than I move. And yeah, faster than most things move. I can get about two attack. I can get like 1.8 attacks in. Does that make sense? 1.2? 1 1.2 attacks in every time Maybe. somebody moves. 1.4? I don't know how it works. I'm bad at math. Yeah. Um, uh, keep one. I, I need first aid higher. Oh, and this is my third uh, talent. And I've got the prerequisites for Treasure Hunter. One of the prerequisites, which uh, means I'll find uh, stuff on the ground more often. It doesn't make you find better loot. It just makes you find more, more loot. loot. Yeah. But uh, for archers, it's a numbers game. Uh, I need those Aries, which is short for arrows. But not really. Um, it's like a lateral move. Uh, uh, so this is a doppelganger. doppelganger. Who I can't shoot with. Yeah, that's the worst thing about ar archers. I, uh, you can't shoot doppelgangers with missiles. Missiles, they deflect them every time. So higher up in the game, we're gonna have to find some way to deal with higher level doppelgang doppelgangers, like doppelganger lords and doppelganger kings. Luckily, regular doppelgangers aren't usually that, especially one on one, aren't usually that bad. Uh, but they do have that horrible, confusing attack. Yeah, as you can see, I'm instead of attacking him directly, I'm like kind of moving randomly. Uh, that's because I'm confused. Yeah, he's the the direction he's moving is not the key he's pressing. Yeah, I'm always pressing the uh, the key towards him. That's not necessarily the way I, I go though. Uh, what, what what what's your um what's your stance? Oh, it's normal. But let me let me try to pickpocket him really quick. Um, okay. Doesn't seem to own anything about wow. you. So I think that means he was. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Just one berserk attack seemed to do it. And so. rem remember, if you go berserk, you, you don't, don't train, train a shield. Yeah. Shield. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I have nowhere to go except for here. So I'm gonna kick down this door that was locked. I don't want that Albert to get angry at me when I'm not ready for it, so I will just attack it. And here oh, is shoot. your rigs. I didn't, I didn't even think I was that low. Okay. Here's your rigs, the Mad Carpenter. Um, VD7, just like, that's how many VDs Jonathan has. And he's a fast guy. Uh, luckily, it looks like we're just a tiny smidge faster. Um... So what we need to do is drag him to Jared, the healer. And if someone is next to you on the stairs, once you ascend or descend, they will follow you. Which is nice. I got I got lucky there that he didn't uh, decide to attack me that much. And that I Are got, you coward? Uh, yes, I am. And then I got a quick move. But where, where does it say coward? Uh, um, am, am I not? 
It used to say that yeah, you were cowering. Yeah, it would tell you, but... Um, yeah, getting very lucky. So, one thing, some things you gotta worry about while dragging him down is, uh... You don't want to walk through darkness. Darkness he can get really lost in. And you could, like, slam into him, too. Yeah, you could accidentally kill him. Alright, so I'm on BD5 now? Yep. Okay, which, for BD5, we got lucky. See, there's not always a way that I can, like, directly walk away from him. And Jared is downstairs. And by downstairs, I mean in the southern part of this temple uh, floor. That's oh, downstairs. Enough. So once they take a step next to each other, yep, he kills him. <laughs> no. no. Let me heal you, friend. Your rigs, the Mad Carpenter, suddenly appears to be normal once more. He bows to you and puts down some items before he leaves. So he will put down a hatchet, which is good for cutting down trees, white potion, which is always, I believe, an oil, uh, a potion of rust removal or a potion of oil. I can't remember which. And a huge manual. But this a potion of oil would uh, would uh, make an item rust proof, waterproof, rust proof. A potion of, okay, okay you're right. Uh, so the huge manual, if we read it, which I'm not very good at reading, uh, I now understand the basics of building bridges. And so, um, no, no, I do not want to attack him. Uh, so, uh, we can learn now. Uh, uh, I will teach you the art of healing. Jared the healer softly touches your forehead. Ooh. Elliot. I've been molested. I just touched Jonathan on the forehead. Uh, so now we know healing. It's not very good. As you can see, it's 17. 17. And our bridge building is only 13. But. I thought I heard, like, a bat or something. In real life. Not uh, not, not, not that guy. It's uh, getting better. It's It'll get better. Uh, I will pick up this short bow as long as it doesn't burden me. I am burdened. I would. You know what? F it. Uh, let's. How do I look at my stats? Um, character information. V. Alt, alt Q. V. Oh, important PC data, or character information. Alt Q. Yeah. Okay. Yep. It's V. So I can see. We can see my stats here. Strength. Fourteen out of my maximum. My current maximum of nineteen. So I have some ways to go. So really, what I could do is I could remain burdened. And that'll train my strength a little bit. At the cost of being slower. I'm a little bit slower. So, um, all these, none of these spell stats are at their maximum yet, which is really good. Um, well, in, in, in good in the sense that they have potential to grow. Right. I did not mean to hit him. Luckily, I missed, and he did not notice. I was going to say, you can milk, try and milk him. I don't know. Um, let's go back to normal. Or you could try and uh, pickpocket from him. I do not want to pickpocket anything that is not um, actively uh, mad at me, because that is a chaotic act, and I do not want to be chaotic. I mean, you can swing as long as, you know, back and forth as a neutral altar. There's two neutral altars in this dungeon. Alright, let's pickpocket this guy. For a mo short moment, everything is silent. Oh, I, for, I, I gained two skills, and so my pickpocket hotkey moved down. What did you do instead? I listened. Oh. All right, so he noticed, unfortunately. Um. Now I will sacrifice him, just to get. I, I want to get ooh. some piety. Yeah, I because I did pray earlier, and I want to get, I want to get to very pleased if I can, even if I'm gonna, even if I'm gonna switch up to lawful, which I like to do. Uh, it's it's not a bad idea to get to very pleased, which is not um, not very high at all, maybe. I, I am hungry. I will eat this iron ration, which was blessed. 
get wrecked hobgoblin. So very pleased. I will drop my one potion of water that I picked up earlier. And it is now holy water. And now I can drop some items that I have. What, you could just drop everything of un unidentified, uh, right. everything that's unidentified. You know what you're doing? Uh, is this is colon D. Is it colon D, I believe? Yes. yes. Everything with unknown status without asking, which is money sign. And then we pick it up com comfortably and confirm it all. Um, so I've got just some, a lot of uncursed gear here. Um, so that's good. That but means most I of can... this, most of this, you can blind check it at that point. Yeah, exactly. So, like some amulets and some bracers are, are auto cursing. Um, so even if they are blessed or unblessed, they will. Ooh, an amulet of protection. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, I don't think I have any armor. A girdle is just an uncursed girdle. A zero zero girdle, so not great. Um, but it could be RNG Potter. Yeah. Um, what else do I have here? Oh, I, I, I believe I have some weapons that I want to check out. Uh, it's an uncursed scimitar, which is 1d8, which is better than what I've got. They've got, and then uh, my blessed hatchet, which I'm not gonna use as a weapon. Uh, Cutting down trees can be important. Yeah, it can be. It's a source of wood. Uh, do I have any rings? Uh, no, no rings. Um, so are these gloves better than what I'm wearing? No. And if that was cursed, it would be just a straight up minus one. So no. Not good. Um, and then I will drop everything that I don't want to use. Oh, I do have clothes. So probably not going to be very good, but yep, just something to check. Uh, typically, clothes aren't very good. Uh, drop this. Um, I want to drop that. My dagger. Probably not. Gonna no, use no, it no. I'll keep the dagger just in case. If, if anything, I'll go to using my hatchet. As my backup weapon. Um, oh, I do have two short bows that I, I'll check which one's better. Um, and that is it for now. Okay, so let me check. I have a long bow, so it's probably not going to be better than my long bow, but I do want a backup one. That's not good. And that's not any better. No. It's better than the other one. Right. So I do want to. I do want a backup bow just in case. So we'll drop the bad bow. Plus one, minus two. Yep. Yeah. So that's uh, plus one to hit, minus two to damage. All right. Um, just... But uh, uh, being serious, uh, when I asked you how pickpocketing works, um, there's three things that can happen, right? Like you successfully pickpocket, and they either don't have anything, or they... Uh, what are you going to do here? Hit him with my bow. You're gonna hit him with your bow? My arrows. My my B and A my B and A's. <laughs> um so those guys came out of a pit somewhere, so I have to be conscious that there's probably a pit somewhere. Okay, there it is. So I hopefully I don't fall on it. Can you disarm it? I don't No, oh. I can learn disarm trap later though. Uh, if I if I pickpocket enough. So that's why I want to pickpocket, because I can learn more skills. And those snakes are dangerous. So, leather girdle, we can go back and check it out and see if it's cursed or not. Alright. Uh, now, the one thing that you do have to kind of worry about is arrows can be destroyed upon use. And that's what we were talking about milk milking earlier. That um, anybody that, uh, an enemy that has. Uh, so, he so noticed you're attempting to get angry. That means. You I failed and again. I can't try again. Okay, but uh, if you, sometimes you can fail and try again. Yeah. So if it says you do not succeed, that means you failed and can try again. Okay. Um, as a sh shaman. Yeah. Uh, I'll pick his pockets, even though he's probably just wearing loin cloth, because he's a kobold. So a you have to wear. succeed twenty times. Yes. To to complete the pickpocket quest, which, which is which like is unmarked fish. quest. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go back up or down. Uh, that is that a was an angry dog. Bink dog. So I kind of want to kill him really quick before he does. Don't that. don't. Oh, okay. I was gonna say. 
before or you, you might want to try and kill his uh, not kill him no it's fine i i didn't want him to summon is that a corpse no 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 no, no. i i really want a corpse for him but uh at the same time they're they can be kind of tough yeah uh at such as uh, such a low level um i want to get my concentration a little bit higher because uh I need to eventually work on getting my literacy very high so I can start uh, learning, uh, reading scrolls uh, more effectively. I won't be learning a lot of spells, maybe some very low spells, but that's it. And uh, uh, healing, and uh, I can either do dodge, healing, pickpockets. Let's do pickpockets. All right, yeah, pickpockets. Yeah. Oh, come on, please. A bronze, bronze ring. ring. Okay. That could be nothing. Yeah. That could literally be a bronze ring. Like a, a bronze ring that doesn't do anything. A bandage, that could be good. I think, does, does that heal you when you use that? Or does it just stop bleeding? I think it just stops bleeding. But there's like an automatic stop bleeding. Right. I have a torch that I'll use. Uh, it's a huge bat. A uh, gargantuan bat, huge bat. This is pretty easy, so I'll just melee it. I'm burdened again, but I'll, I will eat soon, so I won't be burdened. I will extinguish my torch because it only has so many turns of use, but it also has only so many... Wow, dick. So you want, do you want to try and cowardly attack him so you can try and pickpocket him? No, I'm... Actually, I could. I, I, I'm just going to regular attack him, and then I'll go coward. Um... Yeah, okay, he noticed. He got very angry. Medium shield could be better. Yep. So I'll, I'll wait until you. Uh... Yeah. So I'm just gonna kind of blindly walk through here. Hope I don't run into anything. Like a guru. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna go down some more. There is no down more. Yes, there is. Oh, you only on six? Oh, okay. Um. You got angry. You only got regular angry that time. Ooh, a blanket. I don't mind if I do. Uh, there's a spider somewhere here. There no, I wonder if since they're fighting you, it's you're less likely to get uh to get to, to succeed in pickpocketing. Right, I'm not sure. Ooh, I definitely want to kill him before he summons a bunch of jackals. All right, not bad. You're getting pretty decently lucky with these uh, arrows too, because yeah. like I said, they can break. I believe I said that. This, this isn't a pissing contest, Jonathan. I will pick up those bones. One of your urinating contests that you like to have. Yeah, try and do it when they don't notice you, man. It's unlawful, Jared. It doesn't matter. Okay. You're N+. Plus. And it's super easy to get to, uh, to, to lawful. N+, plus is a... Good video game. It is. Um, oh, this hearthling cake is cursed. Yikes, real hearthling. So, funny story. Uh, if you are a troll who might like eating a hearthling that comes in a hearthling cake, a cursed hearthling cake will actually satiate you more than a non-cursed one. Uh, and But because it's cursed, that also stuns me. So I wanted to do it when uh, I was out of danger, you know. Uh, normally, I would eat the uh, the heavier stuff first, but at the same time, I want to Burden training yeah. is nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, ooh, a potion of water. Nice. All right, I will, even though this guy is a little bit... Okay. Never mind. Me. Um, yep, he got angry. All right. He's uh, just a chief. Chief. Oh, sergeant. Okay. No. Okay, so I'm out of uh, out of ammunition, but I I can uh I do have another bundle, so. So the options are yes, no, and quit. If you quit, you end the game. No, you. It's not true. You just don't uh. Where'd that guy come from? Uh, that guy's a little dangerous. Let's, uh, but let's well, get him. A but little drop low. him. Drop him a corp. Drop drop a corpse. Gets angry. Yeah, I I really think that you should try and do it stealthily. Like, what if I'm like fighting you and then just like trying to dig into your pockets? <laughs> you don't do that. What? Oh yeah, sorry. I forgot how you fight. John's an MMA fighter who like likes to take coins and keys out of his opponents. I don't know why they bring them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> normally, 
I mean, they deserve it if they have pockets in their uh, gear. So that's a gibbering mouther. I recently, and by I, I mean my nephew, but he let me borrow it, uh, picked up the uh, monster. Uh, I'm confused. Yeah, that's why I don't know if you should have. Go, go into coward. Uh, the gibbering mouther in the in the fifth edition monster manual looks so good. Got there you go. Uh, yeah. Ooh, they're yeah. kind of tough, and they confuse you really hard. So, uh, yeah, you should have you should have backed away a little bit farther. Yeah. Okay, let's do another pickpockets. Yes. Uh, healing. Yeah, I agree. I think that's a good one. Food right preservation. Now. Yeah. Yeah. And I think I can do another food preservation. Okay. I'm still confused. Okay, there we go. Ooh, that's a rattling fencer. They can disarm you. Yeah. Uh, but he didn't. Uh, they also, I think, have a higher chance of causing bleeding because their attacks are precise I will eat this straight up oh you feel studious oh nice uh, so my learning increased because I'm smart smart another one of these guys. guys maybe you need to get your stealth up a little bit uh, it's it's up there I mean I I, I went through uh, regular iron boots. You can uh, you can pick them up. They're and, heavy though. Yeah, but pick them up and see if they're worth the it. Lucrata. Oh, also, guys, uh, let, let me see if I can show you guys uh, how how this game looked before um, before the tile set. Uh, where is display previous games? Reach our screen. Where's the map? Central command overview. Um, display map. Wow, okay. <laughs> I wouldn't call these the essentials. They're the essential for moving and stuff. Um, If you look at our map, that's what the game is. Yeah, but I want to get a big version because this is actually is important to me. Why? Uh, because knowing that is uh... configuration switch. Display complete list. Hold on, you, you, you skipped display. I think if you want to go to display map or something like that. Yeah. Level map. Control L. Or colon L. Um, okay. Drive. Am I wrong? Hit Alt L. Huh? Alt L? Oops. Okay. I guess it just doesn't work in this version. Uh, in the previous version, it would like it blow up the map. It says to continue. I don't know what. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys, but uh. But yeah, the map you that you see in the bottom right hand corner used to be the entire thing. Yeah. Uh, which. You know, I kind of miss sometimes, but... Um, should we try to... Yes. I guess uh, you probably, like, figure out a way to turn off tiles. Okay. Uh -huh. Alright, there's no... I don't have the key to that. So, uh, I'm not gonna mess with the cat. Uh... The less I have to mess with cats, the better. It's not worth 
Now, if you get a Clawbug Corpse, it increases dexterity at the cost of willpower. Do you think that that would be an important... Depends on how big my... Uh, how much willpower I have and how much dexterity I have. Okay. If you think about it, I probably won't need as much dexterity. I won't need to train my dexterity as much as... Oh, you got angry that I tried to pickpocket you? You should be angry that you're dead. Like, well, you were uh, again. Uh, again, yeah. dead. Okay, so he doesn't notice you. Pickpocket him. Okay. He so doesn't own anything about that, you. So I pickpocket him, but he's Poe. Like and, the river? Yeah. So you die if, if you're poor. Yeah, I really think it's a stealth issue. Um, I don't. Know. I think you probably could pickpocket someone directly, but I've done it before. Oh yeah. Uh, let's go. Pickpocket Jared. I, I'm not gonna do that. The last thing I need is Jared angry at me. Angry at me, even though he won't attack you. You can kill Jared. There's actually a quest to kill Jared, and he won't attack you. He's like, just please stop. Oh my god. Alright, let's drop some more things. Uh, no, just drop everything again without. Uh, drop, drop all of your uh, yeah. unidentified things. Makes it a little bit easier. Uh, Alright, uh, this uncursed leather cap is exactly like the other one, so we'll do the one that we know. Even though we know the other ones at least blessed or uncursed. Actually, no. We'll do the un the one we don't know because it has a possibility of being blessed. <laughs> um, what else do we have? What are you doing? Uh, medium shield, leather girdle, and iron boots. Uh, so the girdle is just another uncursed leather girdle. Um, the boots. No, they're awful. Yeah. Purely bad. And then what was the other one? The shield. Uh, hey, that's really good. It's a plus three to hit. We lose one DV, but the plus three to hit kind of makes up for it. I so, so. Uh, we'll definitely, I, I think we we'll use that. Uh, is there anything else that I wanted to do? Uh, the Onyx Amulet I can try. Um, and the Flail. Uh, that looks to be it. So, first the Flail. G. G. Is 2d4 plus... So let's compare that. Uh, 1d8 versus 2d4 plus 2. Minimum... Okay, so maximum of 8 on both. Uh, plus... Oh, well, maximum of 10. Uh, plus a, the, minimum, a minimum of 4 on the... Uh, yeah. As, as versus a minimum of 1 on the scimitar. So yeah. we will go with the... Flail. And amulet. Probably not going to be better than amulet of protection, but uh, we don't even know. It doesn't auto-identify. So... Uh, We'll stick with the Amulet of Protection. Um, and I think that that would be a good place to call this episode. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is just kind of an introduction. Into this character. Um, I, I actually, I'm just going to pause it. I'm not even going to end the episode here because if I die, I'm not even going to upload this. So, <laughs> spoilers, if this gets uploaded, I'm going to live for the rest of this episode. But... Uh, yeah, I think this is a good place to pause it because you've already seen a lot of it. So uh, maybe we'll join you in a little bit if I see anything more interesting. All right. Much love. All right. One more thing I do want to show you back in Terran, yo. Uh, I'm about to turn in the quest. I'm about to tell him that I turned in, uh, that I completed the quest. Um, this is Rint, the village elder. He says, you saved your rigs. You deserve our eternal gratitude. I talked to Monksip, the human shopkeeper. That's weird. It, why has he got to be a human? It, it, he's just a shopkeeper, but whatever. And he will adjust the prices for you. Now, try to find the source of all this chaos stuff. I believe that the origin of this great evil might lie in an ancient dungeon in the western central part of the mountains. Look for a truly foreboding place. So, uh, similar to what the uh, uh, Druid, dungeon, the Druid uh, says. Uh, however, he also, um, as a reward, uh, lowers shop prices. So, that's great. Just in this town. But it's still great, because you come here for food a lot in the early game. Alright, thanks guys. Okay, we are back in Dwarf Town. I am 
level 18. Wow, I didn't realize you were level 18. Holy crap. Um, and here's my stats. Or, that's my uh, equipment. Uh, I am wearing the Ankh Ancient Mummy Wrapping, so I uh, visited the pyramid, obviously. I've got an adamantium girdle. I'm wearing the Death Sting for the speed right now. That's not my normal weapon. Uh, a crystal shield. That's 10 defense and 2 protection. I'm in protection. Um, I recently lost my cloak of defense, which made me mad. And a nice helmet. I lost that in the... Uh, Dwarf, Dwarf Graveyard. Dwarf and Graveyard. Uh, as you can see, I did visit the Dwarven Graveyard because I've got the Elemental Gauntlets. I'm wearing some Boots of Speed. So I'm pretty fast. got plus 7, plus 8 for my uh, equipment here. A Light Crossbow of Accuracy, which I had a better one and it got destroyed too, so I'm pretty mad. And 10 Corals. Um, I've got quite a few more Corals I can show you right now, just so you can have like an idea. Uh, it's been a few hours since, I, since you last saw me, uh, but it was no time at all for you. Um... So, here's my missiles right here. So I've got some construct slang. I've got a rock. <laughs> um, Sixteen uncursed arrows. Uh, you can look. Yeah. If you want to see all of it, you can look. But uh, just some nice arrows. Uh, Sixteen dragon slang. No jelly slang. Demon slang. But exactly. I've got nine giant slang arrows. No demon slang arrows though, which I was kind of hoping to have before I did this. But we are back to where we died. Yeah. From the last character. What was his name? Hank? Frank? Jank? I don't know. Uh, good old Jank. We miss him. Uh, but we are about to take on the greater demon. What are you doing? I'm just trying to see how far I can see. So that's 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 how far I can see right now. You can turn on like a... Uh, oh, really? Yeah, but I if you exactly if you see how. here, it says a tunnel down in the lower left, and that's you recall a tunnel. So that means I can't see it. Um, but let's get it over with. Oh no! A vile demon has been terrorizing our home. Slay it. Why'd you do that? I gotta find it. Is that up there? No. That makes me nervous, okay. and he's not. Well, right, right away here. The, th the thing is, is that we kind of got crit and killed last time, I believe. Yeah. Um, there, it is. there he is. Get, Get out of the way. way. All right, you're good. Just don't move. I'm going to William tell this BS. That's, that's good. Did you equip the, wing the ring of fire protection? No. Get out of the way, oh my god. Wand of cold. Ooh, that, Ooh, hit him. that actually hit him. Hit him. Yeah. It's just that easy. See, so why not? When we're, you're not trying to melee him and you're not, like, hoping that he doesn't shrug, I got lucky with that not shrug. That's bro. true. That is so true. Don't touch my arrow, bro. It's <laughs> mine. So, yeah, that's it. That's, that's what I died on. That's what I died on last time. And that just kind of goes to show you, you can never... Last time I was cursed, too, and that's my fault. Yeah. Uh, and also, like... I haven't crowned yet. Yeah. With this character. Um, different characters. The Ludfield Mace. Thanks, guy. Yeah. So heavy. Oh, my God. Uh, sell it in Sack of the Gold. Where did this fashion come from? Oh, I'm gonna eat it. I don't care. <laughs> Is this ground food, anybody? Yeah. No one's gonna be mad if I eat this, right? If no one claims it in the next one second, it's mine. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. I guess 12 pounds is good enough. Uh, especially, like, if you're not gonna feed it to the rattling. By the way, we have almost everything we need yeah. for the rattling. <laughs> for, for, uh, for uh, ultra ending. Gray Bay's quest. It's like, it's weird how much I've gotten. Like, I could do an ultra ending, but I've never done it, and it's hard. And I just don't want to do it. Um, yeah, we want to we want to record a victory, not like there there uh, Gordon Overkill. Shout out yeah, to him. Dude. He has a good one uh, back from 2015. Uh, Where he was... did an ultra ending with the graphic on the graphics tile set. So yeah. Uh, so if you want to see one of those, own favorite shoe. Uh, I'm still so far away. Oh. Uh, yeah, well, you've sacrificed about 
80,000 and it's been going down a little bit and you've done, he's we've actually been doing some praying uh because uh in the early game we were kind of weak yeah. um so this is our the stuff that sanctuary we, we just we just kind of drops everything because i'm kind of like overburdened right now yeah um, so we wanted to get as fast as possible um, so I'm going to pick up this. And so this. I don't think we're going to make it much longer than this, no, right? No, 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 um, no. Um, uh, we're going to give the Golden Gladius to Bart, is his name? Yes, the, the Grizzled Veteran. Uh, and he'll give us some, some cool things. Um, we got, yeah, we got to figure out what we want and what we don't want, really. Yeah, I'm going to leave these weapons here. Okay. Um... But our carrying capacity just isn't is not that much, I'm not honestly. very strong. Yeah, we've been trying to train it, our, our toughness and our strength. I don't but have a ring of doom, I can use a ring of acid resistance. Um, what does the ring of doom do? Like what? Can, what, what? It, it's it's a ID trap. You think so? Yeah, you don't want to. If you start putting on rings without IDing them first, you're gonna put it on. And you're not gonna have a good time. Just get all of these and all my potions. And then I'll decide what scrolls I want. Don't need the papyrus scroll. No. It is a good way to train your uh, reading, though. But I actually got the potion of literacy because yeah. I was I couldn't read it very well earlier. Uh, and so instead of identifying my items, the first quest from the Throndar uh, Throndar was uh, a scroll of literacy instead. Potion potion of literacy. literacy, and it's uh, it's a, it's Scroll's an artifact, literacy. which is interesting. See, so okay, so here's a scroll of danger, H right here. I need you need that for an ultra ending. Uh, and I'll show you. I also picked up something earlier that's necessary for an ultra ending. Uh, oh no, I didn't. It's on the other stack. Um. Um, I'll keep that with me just because I need it for. Um, ooh, I have uh, two iron rations. That's you should probably be I eating those. those yeah. yeah. Uh, we don't have any uh, uh, herbalism. Yeah. But we've so. just been, like, we just picked up a crap ton and then read a Blessed Scroll of Uncursing. And because if you don't have herbalism, they're almost always cursed. Uh, Ooh, two crystals up. of knowledge. I need to bust those. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, sell the uh, turquoises. Yeah. I, and I, need to sell I don't know why that those aren't stacking. Yeah, that's so weird. Um, I need uh the moss Marillion, the beeswax, and all the gems, except for the glass. I mean, technically, I can still sell those, but all right. And then here's my other stack right here. Uh, just um an amulet of life saving. So this is what what else you need for uh. Uh, something else you need for the ultra ending but also if you just wear it and you die while you're wearing it you just come back to life um, which sounds amazing until you realize if you've gotten this far yeah usually if you die it's your own fault yeah and it takes up a next slot like a like your next slot is valuable so um i also got more fletcher resets i'm just keeping them back there because they're kind of heavy and i'm not using them right now and uh, an uncursed scroll of corruption removal i'm not really corrupted yet so i don't want to risk it getting destroyed so, can I, in my hidey hole here. Wait, why did it say Fletch Reset 5? Can you use it five times? Use it five times, yeah. Do you have more? I have, yeah, I am w carrying one because you can't level it up. You can't level up Fletchery without carrying a Fletch Reset. But then you only had one more. Is that right? No, I have five on that one too. Why do you have five on you? Because you can only carry one and you can use it five times. You can only carry one. If you carry one, it has five uses and it weighs 70 stone. How many Fletcher sets do you have? Two, one on me okay. and one on the ground. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. And, and look, one more question. Who's on first? Uh, Columbo. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going to lock this door. Um, uh, he's Owen, short stuff. Uh, Owen favors me. I want to I want a crown. I want a crown soon. But you got to get to L+, plus, man. I got to get, gotta to get that plus. amulet of order on. Yeah, so let me put on this amulet of order. Um, Just take one step. <laughs> <laughs> Done.
<laughs> uh, I have no idea how close I am. I could read my... It's like getting into a random encounter in Final uh, Fantasy 1. Left side is empty. There are 3,544. So I've got quite a ways to go. I think you have to get to like 5,000 yeah. to, in order to be L+. Plus. So that'll take a while, but I'll just use it on, while I'm doing other things. Um, okay, I want to bless these crystals of knowledge. It's not super important uh, knowledge as a... Uh, uh, Archer, but you get whatever more, you get more skill ups. Yeah, whatever whatever little bit helps. You know, we want to get all of our stats yep. up to ninety nine if possible. Um, so psh, learning, yeah. So I've got thirteen learning. My max is nineteen. Um, what's our toughness at? Can you sh check our toughness again? Because toughness is at twenty one. So we still want to be training that, even though yeah. it's not training our. Uh, power anymore yeah um so if we can i will use oh l l l let's double check what, what, what's our learning at 13 that's right that's right that's right so use crystal of knowledge Ooh, what? Use, use one, one. yeah that's weird i've never seen that so now it's at 13 that was a good roll it rolls 1d2 uh, wait, what? Yeah, oh, it, it can oh, be it, one or two. It, it's now at 15. Yeah. You said 13. Oh, sorry. Okay, so I, B, asterisk, uh, E. 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 Trying to work on an item at an illegal body part. Okay. Tomas. If you're watching this, which I know you are, there's, I found a bug, and I know how much you love bugs. Enter. Did it kill us? Did it kill us out? Yep. Oh. Look, he's right there. Level 17. Oh, we lost a lot. Where am I? What's my quest? Damn it. Oh, we lost a lot. So much. All right. We'll join you back next time, guys. That sucks. Wah, wah, wah.